16 seconds is all remaining in this first half. Melrose might as well run it out now, and they are going to, uh, no, instead throw a pass. Here's Bestie rolling out, fires it across the middle of the ball, is caught. Gary's trying to keep his feet, got out to the 42-yard line. It's uh, 6.8 remaining as the clock is stopped. That was not a first down. That was a second and very long, but a pass completion, two guards. Well, here's Melrose at the line of scrimmage. Three wideouts to the left side. One to the right. Bestie is out of the shotgun. Could be the last play of the half. Bestie is going to throw a long one down the left sideline. It's up in the air, knocked around. It is going to be caught or what? No, incomplete. And the horn sounds to end the first half of play on that play there. So Bestie threw it downfield all the way down to the 25-yard line. Wait a minute, though. A penalty flag has been thrown. And it's against the defense, so they'll have one more crack. Roughing the passer is the call. 15-yard penalty against Montevideo, and so now Melrose has a better shot at it anyway. Now the ball is at the Montevideo 44-yard line. Shotgun again here for Matthew Bestie, the senior quarterback. Takes the snap, dropping back, throws across the middle. It's going to be batted in the air, knocked around a couple of times. Melrose has it! Hey, Anthony Wally! He's going to go in and score a touchdown! How about that? Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Unbelievable! That ball was knocked around how many times? Three or four times, and it landed in the lap of Anthony Welly at about the 15-yard line, and he went in to score a touchdown with no time on the clock. And the punt team is not out. We see fourth and three going for it. So Montevideo will pitch it back. It's going to be, they're going to take a safety. They're going to give up a safety. So they went back and took a safety which will give Melrose two points. And so Montevideo will tee it up again. And here's the kickoff. It's going to be a good kick too. Anthony Welly will kick it at the, catch it at the 35 up to the 40 yard line to the 50 and to the Montevideo 45 yard line. 104 to go, tried to throw a pass. It was incomplete. They come up to the line of scrimmage, trailing by three points at 18-15. The ball is at the Montevideo 30-yard line. And they'll pitch it back. Zach Pierscala will run, coming up field. He has a little room, and oh, he ran out of bounds. Got it down to about the, what, 15-yard line or so? 18-15 Montevideo. Melrose has the ball. The ball is at the 17-yard line, first and 10 for Melrose. Off to our right, eye formation here for Matthew Bestie. They're at the line of scrimmage. And the snap, he bobbled it, got it to Pierce Scotta. Hit at the line of scrimmage, though, got it to the 15-yard line. And knocked down there after a run of about two yards is all. Boy, Melrose nearly lost it that time on the exchange from the center. The clock is moving, 40 seconds to go. Melrose has one timeout remaining, and they trail by three points. They have to hustle. Bestie gets him up to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Second down from the 15-yard line. And Bestie is back to throw, being pressured. Here's the lob in the corner. It's up in the air. It is caught by Melrose. It is a touchdown for the Dutchman. The lob to Blake Garrett. He made the touchdown catch with 27 seconds to go. A primary weapon in the passing attack for, Mel uh, for the Melrose Dutchman here. Blake Garrett does a fine job of getting some separation down there, and the D-back never saw the ball. Throwing it to the back shoulder, he pulled in that winning touchdown. Montevideo's football down by three. Here they go. They will hand it off to Kranz. They're going to run, and he's going to be dropped, catching him. For Melrose was Anthony Welly. After a four-yard run, Montevideo calls a timeout. 21.9 to go. There's the homecoming king coming through. The quarterback, a sophomore, is one for three. Montevideo is ready to go after the timeout. They've got the ball at their own 39. Here they go again. Douglas, the quarterback, straight drop back pass. He's going to shoot it off to the side to Krenz. Colton Meyer will have none of it. Oh, well, he still doesn't have him yet. He's still chasing him. Now he finally brings him down. It'll be a loss of about 15 yards. Wow, sealed him up for what appeared to be no gain. Marcus Kranz trying to use his strength and break free. Never really came to a stop. And then Colton Meyer with rodeo technique rode him to the ground on the far side on that hash mark. Third and long for Montevideo. They'll have one timeout remaining. Melrose again spreads out defensively. 
Bestie is way off the ball as the D-back. Third and long for Montevideo. The ball is back at the 25-yard line now. Montevideo will send a man in motion. They're going to throw another pass. Douglas is back to throw, throwing a long one down the middle. It's a wobbler. It's going to be intercepted. Melrose will intercept it, and it's Herkinoff who made the interception. Melrose will have the ball with only 4.7 to go, and that should do it for the Dutchman win on homecoming night.